Hello everyone. So in this video lecture, we will discuss about array of structure. So this video lecture will cover introduction to an array of structure, memory representation of array of structure along with an example. So in previous video lecture, we have discussed about the difference between structure and union and how we can design a structure. So before taking and discussing an example, let us first discuss how we can access the elements of or the members of a structure. So for this particular operation, we have to use an operator which is called as the dot operator. Represented by the dot symbol. Okay. So the syntax would be, first we have to write the structure variable. Then put a dot and then we will write the member name. So this would be the syntax for accessing a member of a structure. For example, if name is a member of structure and a structure variable is let's say s, so you will write s dot name or s dot role like this. Now let us discuss an example. Uh, let's suppose I want to store information of two students or I want to create a record of two students of a college or of a university. So this record can contain any information like student name, his roll number, his father's name, mother's name, address, any information that we want to store. So we'll start writing the program. First, we have to design the structure. So struct, then you can write any valid tag name for valid any valid identifier, let's say student. For example, I want to store the name and roll number and let's say marks in a subject. So if the information was for one student, then I'll be taking a single variable, let's say S. And here I have declared that I want to store the information for two students. So one structure variable will store information for a single student. So for two stu students, we have to declare two structure variables. So let's say S1 comma S2. Then we'll start with the main function. And we will inform, uh, input the information one by one. So print F. Enter the details of both the students. Let's say I want to uh, input the name of first student. So for in uh, to input a name, I'll use a function which is get s, which is used to input a string. So the first uh, structure variable is s1. So s1 dot name. That means here, I, am, I want to enter the in, uh, name of the first student. If I write get s, s2 dot name, that means now I want to enter the name of second student. Now to input the roll number and marks, I can use a scanf. For roll number, roll is of int type, so format specify would be percent %d. Marks, percent %f. Uh, let's say, this is for four students, so I will write m percent s1 dot roll com comma m percent s1 dot marks. Then for second student, however, you can write it in a same scanf, but I've taken here two different scanf. Percent D percent F M percent S2 dot roll comma M percent S2 dot marks. That means 
here i have entered the roll number and marks of first student and here i have entered the roll number and marks of second student and in a similar way we can print print all the details of these students so to print the strings i'll use put s s1 dot name then put s s2 dot name and to print the leftover details i can write it like percent d percent f percent d percent f you can put this uh, space or slash in the next line escape sequence anything you want and to print the details s1 dot roll s1 dot marks then s2 dot roll and s2 dot marks the order and sequence can be changed accordingly so this will be the program here i want to store the information of two students so that's why i have taken two structure variables s1 and s2 now let us suppose a situation where i want to store the information for five students so one way is here i'll declare variables five structure variables like s1 s2 s3 s4 and s5 okay fine now there is a situation where i want to store the, this information for 100 students so what we can do is will we can declare 100 structure variables like s5 s6 up to s100 but would that be feasible no so the best way to do uh, to do is to create an array of this structure now we will create an array because here all the variables are of similar data type which is struct data type which are of structure type so what we can do here is we can create an array of structure so now we will discuss about what is an array of structure. So an array of structure is nothing but an array of structure. Is nothing but it is actually an array where the member of array is a structure itself. For example, I want to store this particular information for let's suppose five students. So I'll again write the same program. Struct student tar name and int role float marks. Now instead of taking five structure variables what i can do is i can create an array of size five so this is basically an array of structure where each and every member of this array is a structure itself now how will it look like if i declared a variable as s of five so this would be an array if i take taking example of s of 5 so this is s of 0 s of 1 s of 2 s of 3 and here s of 4 so total five members are there five elements are there it is an array in which each member is a structure itself. We can consider it as the first student. This would be the second student. And so on. So if you can see here, this S of 0 is a structure itself in which we can store the information as the first 20 bytes would be the name next two bytes would be the roll number and next four bytes will be occupied for marks similarly so this is the information of first student similarly for s1 these 20 bytes will be for name next two bytes will be for roll number and next four bytes will be for marks. So this is the information for second student, then third and then fourth. So here it is an array 
where each and every member or each and every element of this array is a structure itself. So it is called as an array of structure. So the situation where we can use array of structure is if we want to store or create a record or database for more than a single entity. For example, I want to store database of 20 students of, an, uh, of a university or let's say 150 employees of an organization. So whenever we want to store information for more than one entity, we can use array of structure. Now let us uh, complete this example. Uh, first, uh, let's say I have to create a record for five students. Now as array will be accessed with the help of loops only. So I'll be taking a variable i. So enter the details. For i equals zero, indexing of array starts from zero. i less than the total number of students that is five and i plus plus. To input a name, we'll use the string function which is get s. Now I'll write s of i dot name because here s is an array. And to input other information, which is roll number is of integer type, marks is of float type. So m percent s of i dot roll m percent s of i dot marks. In the similar way, we can print the information within the loop only. Percent %d, percent %f, s of i dot roll, s of i dot marks. So if I dry run this program, when i equals 0, 0 less than 5, so condition is true. So get s s of zero dot name. That means we are trying to enter the name of the first student. S zero dot name means this S zero dot name, the name of the first student. And within scanf, it will look like percent D percent F M percent S zero dot roll M percent S zero dot marks. That means we are trying to enter the roll number of first student and marks of first student. Let's say the name is Aman. Roll number is 123 and marks in a subject out of 100 are, let's suppose, 68. Similarly, in next iteration, I will become 1. 1 less than 5 condition is true. So it will look like gets s of 1 dot name. That means here we are trying to input the name of the second student. Then within scanf s1 dot roll s1 dot marks. So in the same way we can input the information of five students using array of structures. So this was all about array of structure. Thank you so much.